SJS Report. I'm Information Officer Nikita Tumble reporting for the Ministry of Communications and Works. I'm here today at Tortola Pear Park where you can see behind me we're having a parade and after the parade we'll go straight into the fashion show. After the fashion show we will have the official opening of Tortola Pear Park. Stay tuned. Party! Watch those it's our people. And we ready to fed right now so let's go this year we party. Yeah. Shortly after the fashion show, the government and its people convened for the official opening ceremony for Totola Pear Park. I am your mistress of ceremony this afternoon, Arlene T. Penn, and I'm the director of communications with the government of the Virgin Islands. And it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the grand and official opening of one of government's signature project, Totola Pear Park, gateway to your getaway. And as the Minister for Communications would say, this is an auspicious occasion. This morning on my way to work from East End, the skies were quite overcast. But as I approached and descended Jean Hill, that is the hill before CSY Dock, I had to pull over because my eyes had behold the most beautiful picture. I saw a huge rainbow, a beautiful arch of colors that were quite visible in the sky colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue. The sun was faint, yet the rays could be seen in the far distant. Then lodged in the center of the rainbow were two huge cruise ships of comparable size. Between the bows, I can see a portion of the extended and expanded cruise space projecting out. In looking towards the stern of the ship into the backdrop, I could see the kaleidoscope of building colors emanating from this park, with Rowtown providing the perfect backdrop for a picture frame. Then I said, today would be a lovely day in the Virgin Islands. We have our speakers here, and they are ready to tell you more about this journey, about this day, and what this day means to us, the people of the Virgin Islands, or tourism industry, and for generations to come. Premier Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable D. Orlando Smith, OBE, stated at the official opening ceremony that Destination BVI is on the move, a move that is critical to the development of the territory. Tourism continues to have some of the strongest connections to the other sectors of the economy. It is a sector that holds the biggest investment opportunities for our people. And it is a sector that tells the world who we are culturally. Gone are the days when white sandy beaches or crystal clear blue sea and beautiful sunset were the marketing tune. After all, everybody else in the region has caught that fever. In order to stay ahead of the game, we are to move in a new direction and do more to offer a unique difference in standard. And speaking from personal experience, because I have traveled far and wide in business and for pleasure, I can say without fear of contradiction that what we have created here today is unsurpassed anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no other destination offering the quality and variety of offerings that we do today. We have authentic businesses open today, selling a wide variety of merchandise from jewelry 
to a very wide variety of clothing, to art, to exotic drinks, you name it, it's here at this pair park. These 23 retail shops, along with many more that will be added, are living testimony to the creativity, the innovative spirit, and yes, the daring spirit of a business community. This park is our first opportunity to create that lasting impression on cruise passengers as they meet the territory and some of them for the first time. Our collective responsibility when they get here is to captivate them and provide an authentic visitor experience so they become tomorrow's overnight visitor. And all persons working at the port of entry must be of the same mindset. Our taxi drivers must be on the same page. Our restaurants and shops must be committed to this. If we are to remain among the top destinations in the world, renowned for guest experiences. Now is the time for us to display the best of what we have to offer, whether it is local cuisine, drinks, cultural entertainment, or unique Virgin Islands souvenirs. Ladies and gentlemen, BVI is on the move. In Raising the Bar, Director for Destination Development for Norwegian Cruise Line, Mr. Andrew Duckworth reminisced on his first time here in the BVI and compared it to what is now called Tortola Pear Park. Here is what he had to say. I've been involved one way or another in this project for about the last four, four, four and a half years. Um, I've, I've been through the ups and the downs and the, the peaks and the valleys over the, over the course of time. And um, I've seen... Uh, I've seen the good times and the bad times. I remember first landing here. I'd never been to the BVI ever. Um, and I remember I first landed and, and landed over there at Beef Island. And the group that I was with, they picked me up and took me down. And I stayed at the Mariner's Inn. Uh, but before that building was there, you could see it. And, uh, you know, I remember sitting there on the deck. And, and yesterday, I know Russell uh, probably thought I was crazy. But I was sitting there in the same chair that I sat in the first time I was here. And I remember sitting there. And it was about evening time. And... You could feel the, the wind kind of, uh, the little sea breeze coming off, and, and it was fairly quiet, and you had the boats there, and I could see the pier park. Um, then, of course, it was just a small terminal building, a much shorter pier, a uh, much narrower pier, and um, that particular day, there was, there was no ships in port, and, and I just remember thinking, you know what, there's something here. There's something at this destination that's special, you know. It's just something just felt different, and I had been to a lot of Caribbean destinations over the years, and for whatever reason, this one just felt special. And I remember that thought, and, and I was sitting there last night and in and, and that same chair, at that same view, um, looking at this beautiful park that's over here. And you know, uh, all I could think about is how much more spectacular and how much grander the BVI now looks from that same chair looking back over um, today with this, cruise, with this cruise park and cruise pier here. Um, I thought about, again, some of the valleys that we had. You know, there was two different times we thought this pier park was going to go. We thought it was going to get started, get enough momentum, and complete. Um, the private sector had tried to, to do those projects, make the investments, um, be able to build and, and, and realize the dream that uh, your leaders um, up here had. And I remember a, a, a meeting that took place after the private investors had both, uh, uh, private investor twice had, had, had failed to, to realize the project. And um, it was a meeting, it was actually my first meeting in this position as uh, with Norwegian Cruise Line. And we had the Port Authority, um, a couple of other members that were there. Um, Minister, if you remember, we uh, called you in a conference call uh, that same day. And, and I was sitting there and I remembered something that was very interesting. And, and it was the first time that uh, uh, your, your government here, your leaders, had, had decided, you know what, we're going to try to do this ourselves. We're going to try to lead this effort. And the resilience, the resilience that that showed from when you had these two valleys and you had these two bleak times, but for the leaders of, 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 of the BVI to step forward and say, you know what, if nobody else is going to do it, nobody else is going to be able to realize it, we're resilient enough, you know what, we'll do it ourselves. And when they, when they had that conversation, I remember Mark asking me, I remember uh, uh, Minister Vanderpool asking me, uh, 
you know, if, if we need help, are you going to be able to help us, you know? Uh, and, and of course, we said yes. And Russell, I know uh, in that same meeting, uh, said, said that we'd be willing to help in any, any way we could. The government of the Virgin Islands has invested greatly into the cruise pair expansion project, for which berthing agreements with Norwegian and Disney Cruise Line were signed. Director for Marine Port, Security Operations, and Maritime Affairs of Disney Cruise Line, Mr. Russell Dea, is pleased with the project and noted that the day's events and the pair parks and match atmosphere adds to their magical experience on board. With the addition of Tortola Pier Park, you now deliver a truly world-class cruise experience. One one with a warm, welcoming spirit, as everyone I have ever met here in the British Virgin Islands meets and greets you with. The dynamic retail shopping we see around us and the entertainment facilities complement that spirit. All of us at Disney Cruise Line are excited to chart this course with you for continued prosperity within the British Virgin Islands. Working together, and as we say at Disney, making dreams come true. Before I close, I, I also want to share a personal moment. I've been coming to the BVIs for quite some years now, but always by boat. I never really took the opportunity to come ashore, meet with the people other than those we interacted with in the boating community throughout the territory. Someone asked me, yesterday uh, where, where you've been all around the world Russell I used to sail on board the big ships where are your most favorite spots in the world and I had to answer them honestly I said the BVI's and they said well where's your favorite beach I said Long Bay I can see Minister Pickering there looking at me because that's I think one of his favorite spots so thank you everybody congratulations to all of you on this special occasion and we look forward to being your partners, your friends for many, many years to come. Other speakers for the ceremony included BVI Tourist Board Minister of Tourism competition winner 2015 Miss Maya Bazaar, CIBC First Caribbean Country Manager BVI, Mr. Malcolm Withnall, and Chief Executive Officer for the Totola Pair Park Limited, Miss Donna Regis, who noted that the opening day was greatly anticipated, especially for the tenants of Totola Pair Park. Over the past few months, we have handed over about 47 keys. And these keys are just not just a piece of metal, but they open doors to some among, some among the most precious and most creative of the BVI experience. They're not just brick and mortar. They actually are built out to the standards of international standards anywhere in the world. I guarantee you that you enter one of those stores and definitely you will see some of the most amazing work of the local talent. The products that is presented is a perfect combination of international brands and local upcoming BVI brands. Some of the tenants I have had the opportunity to interact are among the most visionary, the most creative. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize the hard work. Some of them have worked night after night to deliver what you see here today. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our tenants. We have a total of 23 shops opening today. And by the 1st of March, we have another 30. By the 1st of March, it'll be 30 stores. And by April, we're gonna have 50 stores. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure So again, welcome you to the Pier Park, and thank you for this opportunity to have interacted with you over the past year to deliver this amazing, amazing facility, a totally unmatched shopping, dining, and retail experience. Before the ceremony, Man of the Hour and Minister for Communications and Works, Honorable Mark Vansipool, said he was elated to see the completion of the project and is pleased with the day's event. Uh, all I can say I'm very nostalgic, excited. The parade is looking lovely, they're coming down, they're going by the ship to entertain the guests on board the ship. They're going to look over and see the parade, to see some of our culture. That's why we want to give the, the uh, guests a, a bit of our culture. They've enjoyed it here in the village, now they're going by the ship. 
and even the local people you can see them all around enjoying this um, it's fun here in the park everybody's excited to see what we have done and I'm of course very excited in his remarks he stated that it is a well executed project and a worthy investment for the people of the Virgin Islands here is a clip from his feature remarks I want to say a big welcome to all you wonderful people out there from the British Virgin Islands. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Y'all look beautiful out there. I'm very excited to see you. A good crowd from Virgin Gorda, Jos van Dijk, Jos van Dijk, Annie Gorda, and right here in Tortola. We are pleased to be here together today to visit and see what is indeed one of the greatest accomplishments in the history of the Virgin Islands. So let me add my personal welcome to you all to the official grand opening of the new Tortola Pear Park here on Wickhamski One in the capital city of Rotown. I would say, what a magnificent development, ladies and gentlemen. If you would say the same, please let me hear a resounding <laughs> round of applause. Thank you very much. Many of you would have already visited the park, and we have been getting very favorable comments from experts in the field, from visitors and from residents here in the Virgin Islands, that this is indeed a well-executed project and a worthy investment of the people of the Virgin Islands. Ladies and gentlemen, I was pleased to hear today from a political colleague from the island of St. Martin. He's here with us, Mr. Theodore Heidegger, who is visiting and said he was very impressed with our Tortola Pear Park. Thank you, Mr. Heidegger. You would know from one of the islands that for a long time have catered to cruise tourism in a very good way. We also heard from the famous St. Thomas icon and radio personality who was here today broadcasting from right here in the Pear Park, Mr. Adi Otley. <clears throat> he was broadcasting live from here earlier today and said he was extremely impressed with what he has seen on this magnificent development. Thank you, Adi. To those of you who are visiting this facility for the first time, I am sure that you are amazed and pleased at what your government is doing to guarantee the long-term sustainability of the cruise tourism industry in our beautiful Virgin Islands. So ladies and gentlemen, Tortola Pear Park, in my eyes, is a whole new town within the city of Rotown. That deserves a round of applause. <clears throat> the architecture in the park is designed to be consistent with the vision of a main street lock, and we have hand laid approximately 107,000 bricks throughout the park using local labor, and you will see for yourself the magnificent work done by Clinton Chungo Pickering and his team at Groundworks BVI. He deserves and his team a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, Tortolo Pear Park was created to not only welcome the soon to be approximately one million cruise ship passengers visiting our shores on an annual basis, this year alone 700,000, but to also facilitate our, town, our own residents and other visitors to the islands who can now have access to one of the best shopping, entertainment, and recreational facilities in the entire Caribbean. Very importantly, ladies and gentlemen, at Tortola Pear Park right here, we have created expanded business opportunities for many entrepreneurs and hundreds of workers. This has already translated into a boost for the economy of the Virgin Islands and will certainly be a catalyst for economic growth for many, many years to come. We are seeing more vendors and as a result, more workers being hired here at the Tortola Pear Park. We have more taxi operators, 
more tour guides, more ambassadors, more security guards, and more janitorial staff. And in the coming months and years, there will be more to come. So far, ladies and gentlemen, this project has provided work for close to 250 persons, including 200 at the retail shops here, and another 50 or so at the total repair park, including service providers. That deserves a round of applause. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we have already seen an increase in the number of cruise ship passengers visiting the shores, and the forecast for this year, for 2016, is in excess of 700,000 passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, this would be the largest number of cruise ship passengers by far ever to visit the British Virgin Islands. The number is expected to climb to approximately 1 million over the next 24 months. I was pleased yesterday to meet an elderly BVI Lander, a former teacher of mine, who indicated his pleasure in investing in this project and was filled with excitement at the prospect of receiving a solid return on his, his investment in this, the Tortola Pear Park. My teacher, I can assure you, as minister responsible for this project, under the direction of my premier, Dr. D. Orlando Smith, that your investment is already worth its while where you are, you are guaranteed a return in excess of 6% per annum. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to give a round of applause to those investors who had the faith and the belief in this project that will benefit them personally and the entire territory of the Virgin Islands. <clears throat> and for those of you who did not and could not invest, I want you to give yourselves a round of applause for your investment in the Social Security Board has put $5 million in this project, and for that, you need a round of applause. <clears throat> I am pleased to report that between July and December 2015, we collected rental re revenue already at the Tortolo Pier Park in excess of $350,000. Projected annual revenue is expected to be approximately $2.3 million. Tortolo Pier Park what you see here today stands as a testament to the resolve of the government of Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith to develop the infrastructure of these islands and guarantee a better tomorrow for generations now and those to come. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be remiss of me if I didn't remember the initial works done on this cruise pair by the late Chief Minister Honorable H. Labidi Stout when he first opened it in 1994. Let's remember him with a round of applause. I would also have to give credit to our former Premier Honorable Raphael O'Neill, member emeritus of our House of Assembly and his government, OBE, for carrying out further upgrades to the pair during his term in office. Give Mr. O'Neill, Honorable O'Neill, OBE, a round of applause and his team. Ladies and gentlemen, it would also be remiss of me if I didn't paint in the annals of history the one individual who was most instrumental in the development of cruise tourism in this territory. I want you to give a round of applause to the family in memory of the late Honorable Cyril B. Romney, a former Chief Minister of the Virgin Islands. It is my hope and my expectation that before I leave office, the name Cyril B. Romney will be a more prominent feature of this cruise pair park. Shortly after the ceremony, a cornerstone plaque on the terminal building of the Tola Pear Park was unveiled, signaling the official opening of the park. Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable D. Orlando Smith, OBE, and Minister for Communications and Works, Honorable Mark Vantapool, unveiled the plaque, which reads, Totola Pear Park officially opened 16 February 2016. This significant milestone is dedicated to the people of the Virgin Islands for their tremendous commitment to sustainable tourism development. Unveiled by Dr. The Honorable D. Orlando Smith, OBE, Premier and Minister of Finance, Honorable Mark Vantable, Minister for Communications and Works, Government of the Virgin Islands. The management and staff of Totola Pear Park will erect another plaque naming all individuals and parties involved in the historic milestone. 
Following the opening of the cruise pier in April 2015, there has been an increase in number of cruise ship passengers visiting the territory, and a record number of 700,000 passengers are expected to visit the territory in 2016. Tortola Pair Park now holds about 23 retail stores for which the terminal building is occupied with 100% unique locally owned businesses. That brings us to the end of this grand day for the official opening of Tortola Pair Park. There was a parade, there was fun and activities, the people came out and enjoyed themselves. The ceremony was amazing and now we're about to celebrate. As you can see behind me, Vibe is about to start up the party. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Information Officer Anita Turnbull reporting for the Ministry of Communications and Works.